Now what it is saying, it is saying that compute the closure of the given set. You have R, R is nothing but a relation. A, B, C, G, H, I is the set of attributes of that particular relation. Relation means table. So in a table, we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. And these are the functional dependency given. This is the functional dependency which is given. What is the question? Question is to find out the closure of A, B and C, G. Let's do that. So to find it out the closure of A, let's find out the closure of A. So what is the closure of A? So we'll write A and closure symbol. Now in this, we know A will come. Yes, A is coming. Now, after that, we have to find out A is determining anything. Yes, A is determining anything. A is determining B as well as A is determining C. So first A is determining B as well as A is determining C. So both will come. Then we have to find out B is determining anything. Yes, B is determining H, so H will come. Now you have to find out B is, B is, yeah, B is over. Now, what about C? C is determining anything? No, C alone is not determining anything. Then, is H is determining anything? No, H is also not determining anything. Can we combine some attribute and will it determine anything? No, it is not the case. Then this will be your closure of A. That's clear? Then, the, the next day is to find out the closure of B. So what is the closure of B? Closure to B, B will come, right? Then, B is determining anything? Yes, B is determining H. H is determining anything? No. B and H combinedly determining anything? No. Then this will be all. This is your closure of B. Then, the closure of C, G. So let's find out the closure of C, G. Now, if we we'll find out the closure of C, G, so C, G will come in the closure set. Then C is determining anything? No. G is determining anything? No. Combinedly C and G is determining anything? Yes. They are determining H and I. So let's put it H and I. H is determining anything? I is determining it? No. That's all. This is your what? Closure. No. Uh, the question is what? will be the candidate key or which particular attribute or which particular set of attribute will be the candidate key. So to find it out the candidate key from this particular procedure, we have a, a method which is if we'll find out the attribute closure and this attribute closure consists of whole attribute which are there in a relation then this x can become the candidate key now in this case can we say a is a candidate key so a is determining a b c and h a b c and h what about g and i g and i is not going to determine so it is not equal to r in the same way b is determining b and h is also not equal to r CG determines CG, H, I is not equal to R. Now, could you tell me which attribute will be the candidate key in this particular case? Now, can we... So, what are the attribute that is not there? Is, is I and G. So, what about AG? Let's find out AG closure. A and G will come. Now A is determining anything? Yes, A is determining B. As well as A is determining C. Then uh, B is determining H. Then C and G is combinedly determining I. Can we say it is equal to R? A, 
G B C H I. All the attributes are there. It is equal to R. Now, can we say A G is the candidate key? Yes. So A G here is working as a candidate. Can we have some more candidate key? Mm. What else will combine? What about? Yeah, I think this is a this is a key uh, that we'll get. If we'll if we'll increase the size, it will be like A C G. But we have A G available. So ACG will not be the candidate key because AG is already there, the minimal key, the minimal size um, key we have taken as a candidate key. So this will not come into the picture. So here I think AG is the minimal key that we'll get. Can we get the same size key again? Then it will come into the candidate key list. So candidate key is my AG. Can we have some more candidate key? So you have to find it out. Right, so with the help of closure, we can do that. Let's solve some more problems so that we can understand it. Let's do it for this particular example. What this example says, this example says that you have this function, these uh, R, and you can see R has how many attributes? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. These many attributes are there. This is a functional dependency given. It is asking find the candidate key of R. So how will find out the candidate key of R? So we have to find out the closure of all the determinant. What? The closure of all the determinant. So let's start with the determinant. The closure of all the determinant. So we'll start with A, B. A is one determinant, left hand side part, right? B, F d and a b so here as you can see a b is is finding out all the relation all the all the attribute in a relation then can we say a b is the candidate key yes we can say a b is a candidate key let's find it out right one by one let's go for it so first is your a closure what a closure will give you? A first. A is determining anything? Yes. A is determining D and E. D determining? Yes. It is determining I and J. Uh, D is over. Then E is determining anything? No. I is determining anything? No. J is determining anything? No. Com we'll combine it. Can we combine anything? We have to combine A and B. So B is not there, so we'll not get it. Yeah, so this is equal to, is not equal to R, right? Because in the R, we have these many attribute. Here, B is not there, C is not there. Then we have F is also missing, G is also missing. So it is not equal to R. Can we say B closure is the candidate key? Let's find it out. So B closure is B. Now, B is determining anything? Yes, B is determining F. F is determining G and H. Then G, H is not determining anything. And that's all. So this is also not equal to R. Then we have D closure. D will come. D, D is, is determining I and J. Can we determine something else from this? No, it is not equal to R, right? Then again, F closure. We'll find out all the determine all the closure of the determined part. F closure. So F will come. Then is determining G and H. G alone and H alone cannot de determine anything. It is not equal to right so a b a b d f we have done now let's go for a b 
So if I'll say A, B, A will come, B will come, right? Now A is determining anything? Yes, A is determining D and E. D is determining I and J. Can B is determining anything? Yes, it is determining F. What else is left? So we have A, B, C is left, huh? Where will get C? So A, B combinedly determining C. So A, B, C, D, E, F, where, where will get the G? F is determining G and H, right? So we have G as well as H available. So I think all, all, all we got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, which is completely equal to R. So A, B is your candidate, right? So I think you got.